All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Project Warlock, one of the first and only games I know of uh, that is new, modern, whatever, and released on good old games first and foremost, which is kind of interesting for me. It also really fits their library, so let's do... Okay, casual mode, unlimited lives, no progress lost, standard difficulty, three lives, additional lives can be found, game over. I'm a uh, hella casual. I hate starting over in anything. Hopefully casual, it doesn't change the actual difficulty, it just changes the, uh, whether or not you start over. Anyway, so we've got some stuff. We've got a Warlock Staff. Whoa, I might have to turn up the Gamma, eh, maybe? The problem is, like, me charging stuff lights everything up. A lot. Okay, so what is Project Warlock? Well, if you have ever played a classic Doom game, anywhere from Commander Keen to, uh, oh. Oh, the warlock staff is out of juice. All right, so I've got a, I've got an axe, and I got a, I got a sticker. Oh no 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 no! I can throw this. Less of a, uh, less of a knife, and well, it's a throwing knife, I guess. If I can hit with it. Um. I am confused on the on the these merits. Ah. Okay, is that a is this like a level transition? I feel like I'm at like a level transition or something and it's like glitching out a little bit here. All right. Well, whatever. Also, I should probably turn up the the audio cuz it got real quiet outside of that menu. Okay. Oh boy. Hopefully the rest of these levels aren't aren't nearly as dark. Isn't there like another old school Doom like uh like Megaton Rainfall or something coming out kind of soon? I think I heard something to the extent of that. This knife is intense. Whoops. Just got to keep dodging those. What is this? Magic light spell is available in the workshop. Okay, goody, and I'm being I think I'm being attacked on both ends. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so we found some treasure, which is apparently EXP in this. That's an interesting setup. I like that. Can I turn off the screen flash? Okay, customize cat. Curve. I don't even know what any of this means. No, it does not look like you sh you can turn off the uh, flashing at all. That's unfortunate. Those rocks move. Sort of. The rocks don't actually move. They just rotate with you. Like all like all classic Doom-style games. Uh, there's kind of 3D models. But for the most part, it's... Uh, you know, it's, it's textures that rotate with you. Now, this is something I interact with. Maybe not. Okay, uh, controls. Attack, use magic as right mouse. Interaction is space. There we go. We've got an unlock point. Which I don't know if that does anything for me. Okay, there's no... C oh, CRT, not cat. Got it. CRT TV effects. Alright, kills 18, items 13, no secrets. I gotta pay attention to that. All right, and this is much, much brighter. Spell crafting station. Okay, so we can buy new spells or interact, uh, upgrade our weapons. Okay. Well, what can we buy? Magic light. Spells also use the same currency. Are you sure? Yes. Because I want, I want light. Oh. I, that's a little, that's unfortunate. Okay, so... One upgrade point. I it does not look like I can upgrade my knife either. So bloodthirst improves your melee range by one meter. Each landed hit replenishes your health. Spirit sealer, your melee damage by five. Each landed hit replenishes your mana. The longer you shoot, the more damage it deals. So lightning staff, freezing staff. Feels like melee would be kind of interesting, but I'm not entirely sure if it's worth it. 
Okay, improve my stats. Okay, so I've got 5 SP. I don't think I have a single thing here. Treasure Hunter. So I don't have any perk points. No requirements. Odds of receiving loot drops from enemies. Loot drops from enemies and crates are doubled. Or were they even doing with that loot? Come to think of it. Melee Mans Master. So how do I... How do I even... I, I don't have anything, so I guess... It says upgrade points available, but I don't think I have any any stat points, so I can't do much with it. Alright. What's this? Level selection. Okay, Medieval the Prisons. So we gotta slay the Medieval Sorcerer. Antarctica got all of this. So, pages 2, 3, 4, and 1. Neat! Let's go this way. Well, this is cool. I've never... So, uh, I've actually only ever played one... One old-school Doom game. Doom-style game, I guess? Okay, just treasure. Uh, the only... The only Doom-style game I've ever actually played is... Is Chex Quest. One. I've never played any other... Any of the other Chex Quest games. Uh... I've never played OG Doom. Any of the, like, OG Wolfensteins? None of that stuff. I, it's kind of one of the... Oh. Oh! No! Okay, so that, that hurt kind of bad. Okay, is there anything in here? Right. Space bar for this. All right, there we go. I might actually want to look into uh, going full on axe murderer for this, just to see how far I could get. See if I could heal. It'd be funny, at the very least. See, see how far I can get my range. Uh, I wonder if those upgrades are repeatable. Uh, definitely get give me some health. Oh, ah! I mean, so far it does not actually seem like it's a... It's a bad idea to go full melee in this game. I am doing way better with this axe than I was expecting. Also, barrels and stuff are breakable. Good to know. Uh, let's see. Got some treasure. Yeah, so I gotta, I gotta start breaking everything that I come across. Hello! Not, not so bad. I do kind of wish that there was an option for just... Oh, have I already been... Yeah, I've already been through here. I haven't been through here, though. Hello, horror from the Dark Abyss. Okay, what, what about you? You know, for a succubi, they don't really make, uh... What I would consider to be particularly, like... Sucky by E noises. Okay, no oh, there's the map. Like I I don't know, I was expecting something a little bit more. Uh, let's go with this. Can I can I break that? I can, okay. I don't know, I was expecting less like a little bit more aha. Okay, so we weren't done with this room. I don't know where the secret could be. Hex quest. Oh man, that's a that's a great description for this. I like that. All right. Yeah, keep an eye out for anything that looks. Aha! I found a secret. Okay. Yeah, keep an eye out for anything that looks kind of secrety. There is going to be walls with like odd textures that I can interact with. Those are going to be secrets, and they are going to have goodies in here for me. I don't know how many of them there are going there are going to be though, which is unfortunate. They're also kind of hard to spot. I guess it'll be easier with a light spell. I'm probably just gonna roll around with that. Nope. Hello. Let's see. I bet some secrets will require explosive barrels near cracked walls. I don't think so actually. So this is this really is like a traditional Doom-like. 
Uh, they don't generally do the explosive barrel thing. They usually are entirely just like walk up to the wall and press a button. That room gets bright. But yes, for, uh, I know somebody's gonna be kind of iffy about the fact that I turned this on casual mode. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a filthy casual. Mainly I just don't like limited lives. Uh, I'd be a little bit disappointed to find out that, uh, that I, I've actually made all the enemies extra easy as well. Let's not go that way. That's, oh. Like, I, I prefer games where there's a little consequence for failure. It's just purely just go as far as you can, hope you don't die, win if you can, and uh, so on and so forth. Okay, any, anybody else? No. Still can't open that one up. Maybe, maybe, oh. Oh, it's an elevator. Okay. Okay, does shield guy ow. Okay, so shield guy shield guy is actually a legit legitimate problem. Let's see, safe quote, I'm a filthy casual. Does that even need to get quoted? I think that should just be that should just be implied. That should just be public knowledge that I'm a filthy casual. Always have been. I've never been about like extraordinarily hard experiences. I enjoy a challenge when it's fun. But I can't say I'm... I'm particularly, uh... I'm not particularly enamored with the idea of... of, like, getting stuck in games, which I think is where... uh, where I kind of drop off when it comes to game... uh, game difficulty and stuff. Do we have another elevator there? We should probably go back. One, because I've taken a ton of damage, and two... Uh... Can, can I? Maybe I can't. Maybe I have to go this way. Alright, do we have... No secret there. Nope. Can't break the weird... Oh, that's neat. It's actually a window with light coming through it. I like that. It is interesting playing a... What is ostensibly an incredibly old-school style game, but with modern techniques. Ah, I have no more lives. Exit to workshop. Let's see if uh if I get to keep any of those things. So we already have magic light. Can't do much with either of those. And I still don't have any of these. So I guess I'm back to where I was. Well that sucks. I thought I had unlimited lives. I thought I was uncasual. I am a little bit confused on that one. Yeah, I have an upgrade point, but you need four of them to do anything. Yeah, this does have some modern mechanics. If you're looking for a purist Doom style game, this is not quite going to be it. Yeah, so it's really that shield guy section. It's it's that uh, one section that it's gonna cause problems. Okay, fire hurts. Fire, in fact, burns. Surprising nobody. Oh right, that's that. And there's there's a bit of a cooldown on the axe. That I can keep in mind. We're leveling way fast now that I'm actually out here. Hopefully I can just live through an amount of this. I'm doing kind of okay. Unfortunately, there's not... I think I've always had this problem with, uh... With... Doom likes. There's not a very good, uh, feedback on when you take damage. Like, it's, uh, 
sometimes it's a little difficult. It's like, am, am I actually getting getting hit here? I guess there's kind of the sense that the enemy isn't like uh, directly next to you. So, how did they hit you? It doesn't make sense. Anybody else? Nope, just these guys. And you. And anybody else? The answer is no. All right, secret number one. Shame these don't carry over. I wonder if you can actually repeatedly grind levels by by doing them multiple times. I don't know. Because yeah, I'm leveling like crazy now that I'm here. And we do have gun ammo, so eventually we will have guns. Ow. Okay, that hurt a little bit. I guess bum rushing with the axe is maybe not always the best idea. I feel like I'm getting more stuff this time around. More gems. Oh, I never went in here. I got a pistol. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if I could turn off the camera, Bob. It is actually a little nauseating. The idea of it was cool back in the day, but I don't think the execution ever really matched. Let's see, do we actually have that as a pre preference? Not there. Maybe under graphics? Let's see. Nope. CRT. Nope. Wobble. Distortion. Speed. Curve. Nope. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it matches the style at the times, but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it feels good to experience. I will grant that 100%. Okay, so this is... This is there. I don't think there's anything else. We should probably try using the gun. I'm gonna mash my face into a couple of these walls for a second. And I'm not seeing or feeling anything. We found both secrets in this this zone, from what I remember. I don't remember there being any others. Hopefully, we can kind of redo these. Okay, and I've got I've got shots. Okay. I'm almost dead. It kind of sucks. Apparently, E switches you to your last... the last weapon you used. It does not actually switch you to... uh... to the melee weapon. Which is... a bit of a problem. Oh, that is not a whole lot of health. Okay. There we go. I am... I might actually go for that melee vampirism... Uh, trait when we get the chance. Assuming I live through this. Which gives me... I need this one. Oh, E just cycles through, through weapons. That's how this works. It's gonna suck. There we go. Okay, we're back here. They're all dead. I left behind a stupid amount of uh, health in one of these rooms. Probably, probably in the secret. There it is. Oh, I was down to one HP. That was a problem. It's a problem I managed to overcome, but still. Yes, but for people that keep asking, this is Project Warlock. It's a, it's a new game, came out on good old games. Uh, today? Yeah, today. Definitely, definitely worth a look if you like old school shooters, and I mean old school.
Okay, so I can't I can kill them with the throwing daggers. Is it just me or is the throwing dagger like not kind of broken? Ah, I missed a secret somewhere in there. Okay, level complete. Dungeons, the Chambers of Agony. Okay. Well, we're good. Watch this be one of those games where it's actually uh, screwing with you on the... Uh... It's actually screwing with you a little bit. And the uh, the casual mode is actually like the hardest difficulty. I can see it. Looks like they're starting to give us a decent amount of ammo. Is 50 just the maximum? It looks like 50 is just the ammo... Ammo cap. All right. There's a lot to take in around here. Let's just kind of go with whatever. At least for a bit. Let's see. A lot of ammo. What the? Oh! Oh, these things hurt. Okay, don't touch the brambles. They can and will harm, hurt, kill you? I don't know. Anyway. Craft in a box! That is something to keep in mind. Oh. And they got... They got... They got hella jibbed. Okay, I gotta... I gotta actually get sit up. I guess it's gibbed. Not jibbed. Speaking of, I guess, Doom likes, kind of as an unrelated thing. Knowing that this game was coming out, uh... Today. I actually found on Netflix, they have the Doom movie. The original Doom movie. Uh, I guess it's the only Doom movie. It is awful. It is real bad. Watch the whole thing. It was, uh... I think probably one of the most uneven experiences in a movie I've ever seen. Okay, it feels like there's gotta be a secret around this section due to the hole in the wall. Here? Good. Nothing? Nothing! No secrets there. Yeah, keep looking for those, like, weird... painted on looking texture things. But why does this one sit out from the wall and the rest don't? That's confusing. But yeah, the, uh, the Doom movie was atrocious. <laughs> I don't know. I just had to report that I, I saw it, I guess. I was... I did find a secret. Okay, so look for cracked walls as well. Because apparently, Dwarf, Dwarf Furious, you were, you were correct. There are, in fact, uh... There were, in fact, cracked walls that we have to, uh, investigate. But we can just hit them. We don't actually, we don't have to, uh... We don't have to bomb them or anything. Okay, so I gotta get a locked... I, I gotta get a key for this one. The best part of Doom, the Doom movie, was the FPS scene. That was awful. I was watching that with kind of a, with my like, ow. Okay, with my mouth slightly agape, being like, who thought this was a good idea? Somebody clearly did. And I, seriously, don't know what to think about it. Yeah, that throwing knife does crazy damage. Weird wall texture to your right. Uh... Unfortunately, there's not like a... There we go. Got it. Thank you, eyes, that... I seriously have no idea. <laughs> that was even there. But that's okay. I assume I can't open that up. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get the key on this level. 
Okay, good to go. What about the rocks? I'm looking forward to getting the shotgun here. I like me some shotgun. I've got plenty of pistol bullets. Like, eh, okay, maybe I have a little bit less than plenty. I have a decent amount of pistol bullets, but I probably shouldn't squander them. At first, I thought I was doing fairly well. The answer was, no, I was, I was doing okay. I'm really digging the, uh, the music in this game. I'm not entirely sure if this matches, but I'm digging it nonetheless. Okay, a little bit more ammo. Yeah, there's plenty of ammo. Now, it looks like by getting the key... By getting the key, maybe new enemies have spawned? I'm not entirely sure. Bit blinding. Yeah, what I should probably do is... is uh. I should probably check over levels before I leave. But, I don't know. I guess secrets are kind of important, but I think... I think I can redo levels whenever I want. So we can always come back and refine secrets that I've missed. Especially if, like, uh, if a number of you guys pick this up and, uh... And then are like, hey, by the way, you missed a thing here. I don't know. I always kind of enjoy it where I, when I uh, have like an army of people that are like, You missed an important thing over here! Oh, we might have a boss fight. How do you get back to the workshop? I think you have to beat the boss. What was I? Oh, I was stuck on him? Where'd he come from? I have... Okay, so you can destroy the, uh, the barricades. Okay, so he is very much on fire and very scary. Holy crap. Ow. And he throws firebombs. Great. Alright. Looks like I'm down to throwing knives. Just keep an eye on where I am and I think we'll be safe. Actually, speaking of, there's some ammo. It took some hits there. There's some kind of gravestone situation going on. A lot of health. Come on. Last you. That... I was kind of hoping I would, that would actually light the area up a little bit better. Oh well. You want to miss the most important thing. Is my favorite YouTuber streamer. Hey. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> it is going to be tough for me to find all the secret, secret wall textures on these. They are dense. Let's see, I could go back to the Hall of Bullets. Yeah, how many? I got 35 bullets. That's not bad. Oh. Hey, secret! Yeah, so not all of them are weird textures. Sometimes they're just kind of odd man out textures, too. Whoa, and there's another weird door lock thing. Okay, so if that's... dead... Oh, let's go back. There's gotta be... there's gotta be stuff I missed. These levels aren't terribly large, so I pretty much don't have to worry about, uh... There's the Hall of Bullets. I don't have to worry too much about backtracking. Because... Short. Okay. 
So there's still a couple enemies hiding around here. Mildly distracted. Sometimes when I get tense, I'm gonna shut up. I don't know. I I'm I do be eh. I don't get scared per se, but I definitely like um I tense up. Maybe too hard. I don't know. See, maybe you can open up the locked treasure room now. Oh yeah, there was that whole room. More ammo than I know what to do with. The it was here. Oh, yep. Yep, it required a purple key. Oh. Huh. I was expecting you can you can shoot the torches off walls. That's amusing. Okay. Is that it? Cuz this is where I came from. We found that one. I didn't see any more uh I didn't I don't see any more like weird cracked blocks. Yeah, so you can actually just destroy those. That's kind of neat. Alright, I think... I think... That's it. And if it's not it, I don't know. It's good enough. This is the right one. Should be. By hitting the walls with the circles on them. I'll pay attention to that later. Unfortunately, I think this is going to be one of those games that sets off my motion sickness something fierce. I've probably got about an hour of gameplay. No, I got all the, I got all the secrets. And we're back in the workshop. Oh, good. So perk points, stat points, upgrades. Yeah, buddy. All right, so I got five. What can I get? Flare gun. Changes your standard pistol ammo into flares. Sets enemies on fire. Or changes your handgun into deadly 50 cal magnum. Use with caution. Or I could go bloodthirst. So what do we want to do? Better pistol or melee with healing? I'm leaning Magnum. Because the, the healing on the axe would be nice. At the same time, the Magnum is probably going to be my main weapon. Yeah, let's go Magnum. It looks like you can only get one... Uh, Well, you can get multiple upgrades, probably. Okay, so we can we... What, what can we do? Melee damage, max health... Maximum carry capacity. See, more health when picked up. So, I have five stat points, and that's equal to one perk point. Student, when leveling up, you get a random stat point. Oh, but I gotta get ten stat points first. Requirements, five life, five strength. Five capacity, five spirit. Let's see... Toughness is pretty good. Magic potential. I mean, all of these are pretty good. Soul Collector is amazing if I want to start doing things. Sprinter. Three strength, three life. You gain an insane running speed. Oh, no. Let's see. So we probably want student. Oh, that's ten stat points. In that case, let's save up. I'll live without, because getting students seems like it would be an incredible boost, and I should aim for that as soon as possible. 